I'm ready, man. I'm ready to get it on. What are we playing? We're on express elevator the hill. Going down. Woo! What up, big kids? Here's your big review of Aliens Colonial Marines Collector's Edition for Xbox 360. Here we got the packaging for the Collector's Edition. It comes in this clear uh, vinyl um, window box uh, for the actual box. That looks like uh, xenomorphs um, all around it, like an alien hive, which is cool. I like that. Um, you know, of course. Uh, this is for the Xbox 360. Xenomorphs um, are all covering the both sides of the box. Xenomorphs are swarming the, the packaging all around. Whereas uh, the back here shows you all the things you get in it. Which includes the four movie characters for multiplayer Hicks, Pwn, Hudson, and Drake. Um, you get Ripley's Flamethrower. You get additional marine customization. You get um, USCM Academy Firing Range, uh, Phase uh, Plasma Rifle, Sonic Electronic Ball Breakers, and of course you get the statue, um, the Power Loader figurine, uh, you know, the game, and USCM a Dozier um, with all this stuff in here, So, which I'll show here in a bit. Made by Gearbox and saying ready to for mature. Once you take off this box sleeve, so you can see it has this very steel kind of look, uh, like they were on the platform of the Sephora. Um, even has the yellow and black there going at the bottom. See when the box for the power loader, uh, Xenomorph statue, which I'll show you in a bit. The same design continues all around. It's pretty much, you know, kind of looks like a little vent in there, which is cool. And it just Continues all the way around. Nothing really going on here, just that same design. I don't know, the box kind of looks like all dirty and cracked, like uh, trying to get the atmosphere of the movie. Top of the box says Alien Colonial Marines, has the little vent, plus has a little window. All right, time to open up the sucker and let's rock! And here we got the Aliens Colonial Marines Collector's Edition out of the box. Definitely a nice uh, variety of awesome collectibles for aliens fans but the game well let's talk about that first so i played this game uh, for a few hours uh, with back of Calm on co-op it's definitely not the prettiest game it's definitely not gonna win anything graphically this was uh, developed by gearbox and sega but sadly like uh, gearbox who made some awesome games like borderlands borderlands 2 yeah like what the hell happened like this you know, I, I liked Aliens uh, vs. Predator, even though it wasn't that great of a game. You know, it was good, but definitely not full price. And yeah, this is definitely not a full price game here. I mean, wow, there's a lot of glitches, and uh, the the characters are very stiff, and lip syncing is really bad, and the characters very, uh, it can be very annoying at times. They're definitely not like Hudson or Hicks or Vasquez and Pone and all them. It's just like carbon copy. Oh, even though, yeah, like Hicks is in there, but um, yeah. Anyway, we'll get to that. But yeah, I mean, it's fun shooting xenomorphs and stuff. And um, yeah, just like it gets a little repetitive. The guns can be really cool, the pulse rifle and the atmosphere. But yeah, like I said, the game. It, it's not like it's a bad game. It's just not a great game, and it's very much a disappointment. Uh, like I said, definitely not worth full price, but let's see if all this other stuff redeems it. So let's start with DLC stuff. Now, with the Collector's Edition, you get the Sonic Electric Ball Breakers and Phase Plasma Rifle to confront hordes of enemies in competitive multiplayer. You have Sega Academy Fire Range level to hone your skills. For multiplayer skins, you do get... This is actually what the GameStop exclusive is, so if you order pre-order this game from GameStop, you get this while having to buy the Collector's Edition, or if you didn't get from GameStop, you get this with the Collector's Edition, so you can play as Hudson, Hicks, a uh, Drake or a Pwn. You also get Ripley's Flamethrower, which is an awesome weapon in the game. I do have to say that. Plus additional customization for your Marines, competitive multiplayer. You get this USCM military patches for application on all USCM battle dress utilities. Very nice patches that um, to be your mer colonial Marine fighting the 
the aliens must apply the uniform before entering battle. You get this packet that says United States Colonial Marines classified. Uh, even has the little date delivered to you. Has this little piece that we'll take off here and let's see what's inside it. You get a bunch of different little files and little like pictures. It says LV426 Environment he Headley's Hope uh, Premier Mission Time. So you see the alien hive right there. Very cool little, it's like almost like a Polaroid picture. Get this, it, can't, it seems like it's like a little fax. United States Colonial Marines, USS Sephora. You know, feel free to pause and read all this, but it talks about drone, image taken, determine visibility. It's like a little distress. Colonial Marines, headquarters. Get this little schematic of the USS Sephora. Uh, very awesome, all the amount of detail. It's in, it talks about the sensors, weapon ranges, shows all the little levels of the ship and everything, flight deck, gun turret, particle beam, uh, lithium hydride uh, tanking, cooling tower, you know, just the amount of detail is exceptional on this. I said definitely a lot of great, uh, this is great if you want to hang this up you know, like on your wall. You get this little, I guess, pamphlet. It says, be the face of your country, U.S. Colonial Marines. A safeguarding interplanetary peace for a better tomorrow. Endless uh, via U.S. Colonial Marines recruitment program today. So you get this United States Colonial Marines certificate. This is certified that, and you write your name. Has SAS factory completed Colonial Marine Academy training. Has graduated with honors on this stage. You can fill this out. Signed by Major General Gail uh, B. Hancock, Community Officer, Colonial Marine Officers, Candidate School, uh, Quintesino, Virginia, United States Colonial Marine. The crown jewel of this collector's edition is the power loader and alien, I guess, warrior um, statue. This statue isn't that tall. It's definitely smaller than I like it to be. The detail is pretty nice. It, I can't tell if that's supposed to be, who that's supposed to be. Hicks. Um, yeah, it does have some nice paint on there. You can see, especially with the alien attacking him. It's a very, uh, really a sweet paint uh, job going on. Has some dirt. Um, and the base here is this nice, um, it's like resin and kind of plastic. Yeah, it's just plastic. It says Alien Colonial Marines. Uh, but yeah, let me see. Uh, you can rotate this around see some xenomorph but i would have liked it if the alien's inner jaw was coming out that would have been a lot cooler because as you can see here it's not the detail with all the tubes and pistons the wires like i like the little steel base there you can see like it kind of reminds me of a diamond select base from marvel select you get this nice backdrop diorama piece uh that looks like the uss Safira. You know, like the landing pad there in like the climactic battle with the alien queen in the movie. Let's see here, some like spaceships going on right there. Just a little fold out. Kind of looks like a nice little painting or something. Very uh, sweet art. It does look like a nice little mini diorama uh, like scene from the game. Uh, I do think it does look pretty awesome. Size comparison time. So here you can see the Aliens Colonial Marines uh, power loader statue. Um, it's not really that tall at all. Like you can see with a standard six inch Marvel Legend Heroic Age Iron Man. Uh, it's only, if you really count like the tallest part, which is the back of uh, the alien's head, um, it's only like an, maybe an inch or a half an inch smaller. Like with the Xbox uh, game uh, case, it's actually pretty much the same size, actually a little bit smaller than that. So yeah, it's only, I would say maybe six and a half inches tall and that's including the base. This retails for a hundred bucks to me. I think that's a little too much. Like the game I know is 60 and it's 40 for the rest. Even being a huge Aliens fan, the game, it has its moments. It has that atmosphere that James Cameron's Aliens uh, really portrayed at times it looks good it's definitely not the best looking game but it can look good at times even though the character models can be stiff and lip singing bad it really has that duke nukem forever feel where a game that was in development for many years had many developers and yeah 
that's not a good thing and especially from Gearbox coming out of a great game like Borderlands 2 I expect a lot more and that's what I mean this game is more of a disappointment than a bad game you'll have some fun I've already gotten like at least 10 or so achievements just from playing like the first level and that's that's cool I guess if you love achievements that's a good or trophies that's a good thing I will wait on it like rent it first maybe get it on Redbox or whatever wait till it goes down to 40 maybe even 20 bucks <laughs> before you buy it uh, I don't think it's a full price game. The uh, statue to me, like I said, I wish it was taller. If you're a huge Aliens fan, there are some redeeming qualities for it, but for an average gamer that even likes cool, like collector's edition figures, toys, whatever, uh, it's not worth getting. And like I said, you have to be a really huge Aliens fan, even with that. I don't think it's worth 100 bucks. It's more of a disappointment in all aspects than anything else. So. For more geek news, reviews, and more, check out bkband.net. I'm Sean Long, and game over, man, game over! Where does he get those wonderful toys? He gets them at AlterEgoComics.com Excuse me, he was saying he gets them at AlterEgoComics.com <laughs> For the latest and hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit AlterEgoComics.com They take PayPal, pre-ordered, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKB and not that! Go to BKB and not that! Go to BKB and not that! I tell you to go! Go down! Hudson! I need your help! Hey, maybe you haven't been keeping up on current events, but we just got our ass kicked, pal! Hudson, it's something worse than the aliens trying to kill us! What? They're gonna force us to play aliens, colonial marines, forever! That's it, man! Game over, man! Game over!